Tonight, friends and family gathering to remember the couple presumed dead after crashing their tow truck into the Sacramento River. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf joins us live from West Sacramento, where a vigil is underway right now. Rachel? We are at the Mill Street Pier, where, as you can see here behind me, family and friends about to kick off this vigil. There are a number of people expected to be here tonight. In addition to those folks, tow truck drivers who are going to be here in a show of solidarity, we're told. This comes after a discussion between dozens of different agencies about how the search and recovery efforts will happen. We are waiting for another 36 hours. That's how long it could take for a tugboat to work its way up river to Sacramento from the Bay Area. The family of Rosaline and Shalvinesh Sharma are desperate for answers after the couple disappeared around 8.30. Tuesday night. I can't believe this this is happening to us. The Sharmas are presumed dead after a crash sent their tow truck off the Pioneer Bridge and into the Sacramento River. The whole house is empty. The kids they are in my house. Parents went to work, never came back home. Ever since the family has been calling police, sheriff, and other agencies to get a dive team in the water. But we understand it'll take some time because of the weather and the flow of the river. But uh, man, it's really we can't even like think of this can happen to anybody. Frustrated with all the red tape, Thursday they finally received word a tugboat was on the way along with sonar equipment. They hope it brings an end to the heartache. We know that they are there because everything points to that spot, their last GPS, their last tracking, their last location. We know it's them. We just want them to be out of the water. Now, there was some discussion with the Bureau of Reclamation about lowering water levels. Remember that happened when they were looking for that five-year-old little girl in the Stanislaus River, and that did help in the search and recovery efforts there. But the issue here is that this is such a bigger stretch of river. You have two rivers coming into this at Discovery Park, and even if you slow the water at the Keswick Dam, it could take up to a week for the water level in this area to go down, if it were to go down at all. Back to you.